Hello at Yoga School. My name is Ashley Campania of Ashley Campania Yoga and welcome to my restorative yoga class. For this class you'll need a few props, uh, two to four straps, two blankets, four blocks, two bolsters, a chair, the wall, and a mat. So common things around your house if you don't have actual yoga, yoga props would be belts or straps for belts or scarves for your straps. Uh, for blocks, you could use stacked up books, dumbbells or weights. Uh, for the bolsters, I would find maybe four pillows off of your bed. And if you don't have a yoga mat, just lay out a blanket or simply rest on your carpet. Uh, before we begin, I must remind everyone to always check with your doctor if you're beginning this as a new practice and make sure that you're healthy and ready to do it. Let's begin. So before we begin a practice, it's always great to set up your breath and your intention for the class. So find a comfortable seat. You can sit in Sukhasana, easy seat. You can extend your legs out in front. Take uh, Baddha Konasana feet. Whatever feels good to you, find it and make your way there. Sit up nice and tall. Just gently rest your hands on your knees. Close your eyes. Notice the little areas in your body that are creeping in with tension. And try to release those areas. So unclench your jaw, soften your shoulders, and unclench your hips. You don't need to hold onto your belly here, just let it go. a few open mouth exhales. And then come into Ujjayi Pranayama, your fire breath. So seal your lips and inhale and exhale through your nose. an audible breath so as you exhale there's this slight constriction at the back of your throat and then slowly start to focus on an, an intention for your class so if you have a goal or a positive thought a mantra an affirmation whatever is coming to your mind right now, have that be the focus of your class. Think on it as you breathe. And then take a deep inhale, reach your hands overhead, not opening your eyes just yet. Press your palms together at the top. And on your exhale, draw your hands into your heart center. Take a deep inhale to draw in your intention. Open mouth, exhale to let it go. And we're ready to come into our first pose of the day, which is upward facing plank pose or Salamba Purvottanasana. So for this pose, usually uses a table, but with this small space I have, I don't have that with me. So we're going to improvise with, this, with a chair, a bolster, two blocks up against the wall, and the wall, of course, to use as support. So for this one, come up to your chair and gently lower your hips. Press your arches of your feet into the corners of your block, and then kind of scooch to the edge of your seat. From there, placing your hands right by your hips, take a deep inhale. Lengthen your spine. On your exhale, lower down onto your bolster and release your arms to the sides. Again, come into your breath and just let your eyes close. And in restorative, we tend to hold poses anywhere from 90 seconds to 10 minutes. 10 minutes usually is more of a Shavasana type pose. 
here is to be able to scan your body and release the tension that creeps in with your breath. We're moving past just stretching muscle and going into the fascia of our body, that connective tissue that webs all around our body here. It's a wonderful time to scan your mind as well and find the areas that need your attention there. Maybe you're a little extra stressed from work or family life. Always bringing it back to the breath. out of this pose, gently place your hands by your hips, hinge off of your bolster, bend into your knees, and we will come into the next pose. Our next pose is halfway lift or Ardha Uttanasana. So for this one, if you happen to have a rope wall, you can, you can place some ropes on your wall and wrap them around your thighs, kind of up, up on your under upper thigh just below your hip points here but since we do not we will not be working with the rope wall we're going to use a chair and our mats so to come into this pose place your feet up the width of your mat here grab onto your, the back of your chair and then walk your feet back until you get to the point where you can rest your forearms down and then gently bring your ears in line with your biceps your hips stack over your ankles and we're going to find a concave back here so a little bit of a sway in your back and then just stay here close your eyes and breathe so if there's any pregnant mamas out there this pose is great for all trimesters it helps to take off take some of the weight off of your abdomen open up shoulders biceps chest and belly, as well as a nice stretch for your hamstrings and calves. For this pose, I would hold it for about 90 seconds to two minutes, or three minutes. Depending on how you're feeling and what trimester you're in. carefully come out of this pose gently place one hand and then the other on the back of your chair stand up and walk your feet to your chair the next pose we're going to be taking is downward facing dog so for this one we will use a bolster and a blanket chair away a little bit we're also going to be using the, the wall So you'll take your bolster and place it a long way on your mat. And then your blanket roll to kind of mimic the size of your bolster. From there, place your heels on, your, on the wall behind you. Plant your hands and then slowly come up, sending your hips high and letting your head rest. So we're using the wall on our heels here so that you can press into it. And then our head just rests nicely on the bolster and the blanket. You can also use ropes here like we did, like I told you in halfway lift. If you have a rope wall, you can place them around your thighs under your hip points. This is a much more active pose. So you might wanna hold this one for 90 seconds. This pose is great for most trimesters. I would be cautious in the first trimester. This is an inversion and you should avoid inversions in the first trimester. And then gently to come out of this, just bend your knees, come down to your mat and sit back on your heels. 
this next pose we will, we will be taking half moon pose or Ardha Chandrasana. So for this one, if you have an Iyengar trestle, you're welcome to utilize that. Uh, for today, I'm going to be using the back of the chair with a blanket on top to cushion my ankle, as well as a block for my bottom hand. So to get into this pose, come to the wall and gently kind of just place a foot on your blanket. You're going to be utilizing the wall as well to help stabilize you. You'll want to come down with your right hand on your block or left, whichever one you're on, and then press your back into the, the wall and reach your opposite hand up to the sky. So you're really using your block for support here and your, the back of your chair. You could also use a table as well. Really press your back into your mat, into the, into the wall. And you can feel your side body open, front side of your body. It helps a bit of that weightlessness in your left leg. Reach your fingertips to the ceiling. This pose is great for all trimesters if you're pregnant, so breathe. Just be careful getting in and out of it. You can hold this pose for anywhere from 90 seconds to five minutes. To come out, gently lift your leg, coming down, and then switch sides. So bringing your block to the other side, placing your chair on the other side. So you can still use the wall for support. And you may need to kind of change up your stance a little bit so that it's comfortable and you can get the full expression. So again, press your back into, the, into your wall, reach your right hand up, really press into your block, breathe. See if you can press your right hip towards the wall even more and open up your pelvis to the front. Reach through your top fingertips. And hold on both sides the same amount of time, anywhere from 90 minutes to five minutes. 90 seconds to five minutes, maybe not 90 minutes, that might be too long. And then to come out, gently lift your leg, step down and rise up. For the next pose, we will be taking Pyramid Pose or Parjvottanasana. For this pose, you'll need a chair and your mat. I also like to put a blanket at the back of the chair just to cushion my forearms. So for this pose, choose whichever leg you wanna start with first and step it forward. So you can take anywhere between two to three feet in between each foot or a little wider. Both heels planted on your mat and then gently walk your arms down so that your forearms rest on the blanket and your, the back of your chair. So take a deep inhale here, lift through your chest, kind of extend your spine forward. On your exhale, lower down, bringing your ears in line with your biceps, finding a concave back here. Really focus on your breath and sending your heels down towards your mat. This will open up the backs of your legs, your calves and hamstrings, as well as take a little bit of weight out of your abdominal if you're pregnant, and this pose is great for all trimesters. Hold anywhere from 90 seconds to three minutes. come out, take a deep inhale, gently walk your back foot forward and switch sides, stepping your other leg back. You can choose how far away your feet are from each other, but you'll want to definitely feel the openings in the back of your leg, the backs of your legs. Find the concave back, find length through your spine, and then focus on your breath. Maybe even close your eyes. Gently 
walk forward and stand up nice and tall. For our next pose, we will be coming into wide-legged forward fold or Prasarita Pado Tanasana. So for this one, you need the back of your chair again with a blanket over the back. Come to a nice stance and bring your feet nice and wide. Again, you can decide how far away you want your feet to go, but definitely wider than the width of your mat. From there, slightly pigeon toe your toes in so that you're evenly distributed through the bottoms of your feet, but they're turned in slightly. You should feel the blade edges of your feet pressing down into the floor. From there, walk your hands down so that they're pressing into the seat of your chair and your forehead can rest on the back of your chair. From there, just settle into the pose. If you need to widen or shorten your stance, you can do that. Just let yourself breathe and rest. It's so nice to not have to hold your head up here. This one's really good for headaches as well, and it's great for all trimesters of pregnancy. Hold this pose anywhere from 90 seconds to three to five minutes. You should feel the backs of your legs open up and a little bit of your inner thighs. To come out, gently inhale, walk your hands up to the back of your chair and slowly walk your feet in. Moving on to Ardha Uttanasana again, or halfway lift. So you can keep your chair right where it is with the blanket on the back of your seat. Come up to a stance, bring your feet with hip width distance or wider, and gently rest your forearms down. Rest your forehead on your, on your forearms, or you can lift and look forward, creating a concave back here. Nice to have that curvature in your cervical spine, but once your head gets a little tired, you can always rest it on your forearms, but still maintain your concave back, that little sway in your back. You should feel the backs of your legs open up. Remember to press more into the big toe mound of your foot if you tend to slide over to the blade edges, especially when we have pregnant mamas. We tend to open up our feet to make room baby. So press down into the big toe mounds of your feet. Hold this pose for anywhere between 90 seconds and three minutes. To come out, gently walk your hands up your chair and walk your feet in. For our next pose, we will be we will be taking Paschimottanasana, or seated forward fold. So for this pose, use the wall for support, as well as a strap or a belt or or a scarf, and a blanket folded a few times under your hips just for support and cushioning. So from here, grab your strap and wrap it around the arches of your feet, and then kind of extend your feet out about hip width distance. It's about two fists in between your feet. If you are pregnant, you can always, depending on your trimester, widen your stance out. So from here, grab a strap in each hand. Take a deep inhale. Lengthen the crown of your head up towards the ceiling and exhale out, just stay right like this. You may want to walk your hands down the strap a little bit just to open up the backs of your legs and lengthen the crown, your spine up towards the ceiling. This is great for all three trimesters. And you can hold this pose from 90 seconds to three to five minutes. Remember to come into your breath whenever you get into your pose. Allow yourself to release tension that may be creeping in. To release 
exhale and release your strap. Gently bend into one knee and then the other. For our next pose, we will be taking bridge pose or Setu Bandha Sarvangasana. So for this one, we'll need two blocks against the wall, two blocks under your hips, a bolster, blanket on top, and a blanket to catch our head. We'll also need two straps into a loop. So if you have yoga straps, just feed it through that loop at the top. We'll be placing one set of straps on our ankles. So we'll be demonstrating a first trimester restorative um, bridge pose, which is about hip width distance. From there, we're also going to place a strap over just above into our upper hips here, our upper thighs. So again, feed it through the loop, or if you have scarves, tie it through to where you are hip distance. Then place your feet on the block with your feet up against the wall. You may need to adjust your straps where needed. From there to safely get into this, place your hands on either side and gently walk your hands back, lowering down onto your bolster and letting your arms fall off to the side. Your head can rest on the mat, on the blanket and then really let your legs go here. You have them supported with your straps. You don't need to worry about them splaying off to the side too much. If you wanted to do this pose in your second or third trimester of pregnancy, you would just loosen the strap around your ankles and make your feet a little wider. This is a wonderful pose and I could stay in forever. So I would say depending on your comfort level, anywhere between 90 seconds to five minutes. And it's best, especially during pregnancy, to rest on your left side if you need to. So to come out of this pose, gently bring your legs out of the, one of the straps and roll onto your left side off of the bolster really slowly and carefully. You can curl up into the fetal pose once you're down on the floor to rest. And then gently press yourself back up. And we'll come into the next pose. For our next pose is wide angle seated forward fold or Upavishta Konasana. So for this one, we'll rest our bum on a bolster and then you will extend your legs out to the sides. Have a chair with a blanket on the chair to support your head or your arms. And then just kind of press your hips forward so that you're comfortable. If you are pregnant, depending on the trimester, you can take another blanket or another bolster and place it right under your belly so when you lean forward, your belly is supported. From here, take a deep inhale. On your exhale, Slowly lower down, resting your forehead on the edge of the seat. Hold this pose for 90 seconds to five minutes. It's just a gentle way of opening up your inner thighs. Gently walk your hands back up, grab behind one knee and bend it in, grab behind the other and gently come out. For our next pose, we will be coming into reclined bound angle pose or Supta Baddha Konasana. For this pose, you'll need a bolster, a blanket for your head, two blankets to support your knees out to the side and a strap. So for the strap, you'll make it into a loop and you'll want to make it pretty big too until you figure out where you want to go. So place it around your waist, place the soles of your feet together and then the strap around your feet. So they're kind of 
pulling your heels in towards your midline and letting your knees fall off to the side. From here, rest your knees on your blankets and gently walk your hands back. Your head will rest on the blanket. Just let your hands off to the sides. This is a nice heart opener, hip opener. And it's great for all three trimesters of pregnancy. It's also deeply relaxing. So feel free to hold this pose for five to eight minutes. This is a great one to close your eyes again. Find your breath. Take a body and mind scan and release any tension that's creeping in. As you come out of this pose, gently press your hands onto the sides, slowly coming up. Release the strap from around your feet and then from around your waist. Our next to last pose is reclined hero's pose or supta virasana. For this pose, you'll need two bolsters, a blanket, and a block. To get into this pose, take a seat on your block. Place your knees together and let your feet kind of frame your first bolster here. From there, gently walk your hands back and rest your back on the bolsters. If you have sensitive knees at all in this pose, you can always roll up a washcloth and place it underneath in the crease of your knees here. This is also a deeply, deeply relaxing pose, so feel free to hold this for five, three to eight minutes, I would say. Awesome back bend, so it will help open your heart, release stress. So make sure that you're letting your shoulders fall away as you breathe. This pose is great for all trimesters of pregnancy. And allow yourself to really get heavier and heavier with every breath and allow the props to support you. To come out of this pose, just gently press your hands into the mat, lift up nice and slowly. Come to a seat to neutralize your spine first after a back bend. Place one hand on your heart five fingertips of the other hand on the floor next to you just to acknowledge any emotions that might come up in your back bend. And a good counter pose for this would be to bring your feet up and come into ball pose. So just bring your knees up, hug your knees in and round over. If you are pregnant, you might need to Make room for baby so you could just round through bringing your feet in Baddha Konasana. Otherwise, ball pose is a great one to counter the back bend. For our last pose will be, of course, Shavasana. So just place one of your bolsters off to the side. You can place your blanket back on the bottom bolster. And then back up to the edge of your bolster, extend your legs out to the side or out in front and gently lower down, resting your arms out to the sides. This pose is the best, so feel free to hold for five to 10 minutes. I highly recommend 10 minutes. It's 
also great if you have another extra blanket nearby just to cover yourself up and get nice and cozy. Throughout your practice, but especially in Shavasana, bring your awareness back to the intention you set at the beginning of class. And notice after you've restored how your mind feels. If you really did get rid of some of that tension that's not serving you. And if you feel more open and receptive. Once you've rested for about 10 minutes, to come out of this pose, rock over to the left side. So bend into one knee and then the other. Slowly roll off of your bolsters into the fetal position. Cradle your head, draw your knees up into your chest. And slowly make your way back up to Sukhasana, easy seat. your hands on your knees, sit up tall. Allow a wave of gratitude to just wash over you for moving your body, restoring your mind, healing. Take a deep inhale, reach your hands up and over. And exhale them to heart center. Thank you for sharing your inspiring practices with me today. Please go in peace with joy in your heart. Namaste.